Trump learns nickname Chinese have been calling him during Asia trip, jaw hits the floor. President Donald Trump is currently in the midst of his 12-day trip throughout Asia, which will see him visit five nations in total. The third leg of his historic journey was in China, where the people coined a nickname for our president. When Trump learned what the Chinese people had been calling him during his Asia trip, his jaw hit the floor. Even the shamelessly liberal New York Times was forced to admit that the Chinese people love President Donald Trump. Indeed, there was no way for the leftist publication to spin the overwhelmingly positive response the American president received in China, from the full military orchestra which awaited him upon his arrival to the immense honor which was bestowed on him when he was invited to dine in the Forbidden City with President Xi and his wife. In a report titled Uncle Trump Finds Fans in China, the Times revealed that the Chinese have even coined a few nicknames for Trump, affectionately calling him Donald the Strong and Grand Commander. One Chinese resident confirmed that President Donald Trump is overwhelmingly well-liked in the communist nation, saying, he's true to himself. Dai Xiong, who lives in the eastern province of Jiangsu and belongs to an online group of more than 23,000 people who exchange news and commentary about Trump, added, he's real unlike other politicians. Unfortunately, President Donald Trump has not been shown as much respect by many of his own people. There are many people in America who refuse to give the president the credit he is due after accomplishing so many of the things he set out to do just one year after his historic election. It's easy to understand why the people of China would gravitate so heavily towards a leader like President Donald Trump. It would seem that he is even more beloved than China's own president, Xi Jinping. However, from the very beginning of his nearly two-week-long overseas trip through Asia, the American press has tried to portray President Donald Trump as some kind of buffoon bumbling his way across five countries. During his visit to Japan, CNN even went so far as to edit video footage of the president to make it appear as though he insulted his foreign hosts while feeding koi fish. Of course, Nothing could be further from the truth, and the overwhelmingly warm reception Trump received in China proves as much. As soon as he deplaned, he looked down to see a crowd of children enthusiastically waving Chinese and American flags as they greeted him. It was a hero's welcome, to be sure, be sure.